And I'm kind of playing around here. I have um, some leftover paints. I'm going to add them to one of these cards. I, I use these cards sometimes to make them into postcards. I've got some uh, metallic paints left over. And I'm just going to play around with it on here. This one was a kind of a dark card, and I wasn't sure what I would do with it being so dark. So we'll see what comes with it being quite metallic. So I'm just kind of putting some leftover paints on this one. I might actually just put this one on top. Grab some of that off and see if that will work. That will work. Yes, it will. That looks really neat. Do it again. Grab my roller. That really looks nice on there. I really like the way it pulled out some of the color on here. That's pretty neat. So put this one to the side. I like the way that one turned out too. This one's quite bland, so I'll just put some of this copper. It's not actually copper. This one's um, the Royal Ruby in metallic lusters in, or in metallic um, dazzle metallics in deco art. So I'm gonna do the same things. It's kind of like printing off of the other one using up my leftovers I haven't made postcards yet this year so don't think for the season anyway so I might have to get that on I have a lot of things I have to send out and I'm falling behind as probably everyone else is there's a few people that are just right on the ball and I'm not one of them <laughs> okay let's see I'm going to put this to the side, I'm going to put this on, and again, use my ruler. And try that. Voila! That put really nice, look at that look on there. I like that. I might just do that again with that, see if I can actually add more. This one was my kind of bland one, so I don't think I'm losing too much if I mess it up here. And I did I have, I'm putting on top some blue metallic left in there. I think I'm going to throw on, just because I had it out, I'm going to throw a little dauble of that. Let's see what that does. I'm just throwing. I threw a little dabble on there. I had some on there and I couldn't resist because I did have it on. Let's see what happens. Couldn't resist. That's kind of cool. The metallic didn't come out. The other metallic didn't come out too well. There was just enough on there to. to. Um, Really, I'm gonna pick that up here. Do it the first time, the second time wasn't enough in there. But I don't want to be squirting much paint out. I was like, oh, I wonder about the blue or the teal. I wonder about the teal. So, yeah, mostly leftover except for that teal. I kind of had the blob on there just to see. That's kind of cute. There, so these are, oh, and I have more, um, let's see here, I have this, and I'm just going to scrape up, because I just spotted, I had more on my palette here, it's a little dry, I'm just going to randomly scrape it on, see what comes of it, what comes of it. And these are just some pieces I was going to make. I was just doing like scraping paint on them and 
whatever was left over randomly grabbing them and scraping the paint on. So that's what I got from these. Kind of throwing that together. I really like this one. I'm gonna chance it that I'm gonna go for it. There's a little bit of teal on there. Just a little bit. You see it right in that area right there where my pinky is. That's looking good. Here's a little look at what they look like. Pretty nice. I really like this one. I think they're all very pretty. In fact, I might just work on one of them now. I think I'm going to try. I'm kind of randomly going at this guy, so let's see what I can do here. I'm going to grab my pencil and see what I got. This one is Royal Graphic Pencil. Is this the water soluble? I'm just going to use this anyways as my kind of base. So I'm going to... And it's unsharpened and broken. Hmm. That's not going to work. Okay, I'm going to see if I can. I've stuck it back in. Not going to work for me. Of course, you think I could find sharpener? Probably. Let's see. Okay, so I did find sharpener, obviously. And I'm going to. I don't know what you can see of this. But I'm going to draw and paint on here and. We will see if this this is my first attempt at at this particular thing I'm doing. So I'm making a face kind of and I'm making where I think everything should go. And it's hard for me to see. So I'm just trying to get where I think everything should go. So it's a little bit of a face and you can't really see much right there. And I can't really see much. You can see a little bit. So I'm going to go in with the um, stretching over with antique white. We'll try that. Antique white. This is my first attempt at doing this particular type of face, so we'll see how that goes. It's really hard when I can barely see what I drew here. But I'm going to first kind of start off with my features here and then darken them up, I think, and then. And then going with the rest. We'll see how that goes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably um, speed through this part just a little bit.
was fun. It took me a while. It's my first painting totally besides the first sketches. Total face, I think. I don't know. No, I guess it's not my first painting, but it's my first trying to be more or less realistic. And there it is. Um, photograph, or I mean, uh, painting. So I hope you guys like it. Don't forget to craft like a duck. And I had fun with it. It's not perfect, but hey, it was fun. And the more I practice, the better it'll get. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little um, video, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.